Okay, we came up here to a neighbor's house yesterday and uh, condensate pump was kind of clogged up and wasn't working. I cleared it out and I think it worked for a minute, so we just brought him a new one today. I didn't have one with me or I would have went ahead and changed it out, but let's go do it now. Okay, so... Like I said, I stopped by here yesterday and uh, the pump was full. It's full now. I took it apart and it had all kind of stuff in it. But I threw some of it over there. Let's see what it looks like inside. Okay. So I hooked the new pump back up and it didn't pump out and I noticed it was staying full of water. So I figure it's clogged. So I start following it. It's hooked into PVC right here. I started unrolling all this tape because I see this kink right here. And I'm also feeling it solid right there. So that's got a bunch of junk in it right there. So, um, I don't know if that's, boy, that might be liquid nails or something, some sort of, I don't know what that is. So let's, uh, Let's go down to the truck and get a couple things to fix this with. Let's make this a better connection and possibly find a big glob of, I can feel it in there. Oh, the things people do. This looks like one of those run what you brung situations where they didn't have, you know, the right fittings or the right, anyway, I'll, I'll show you what we do about this. We don't like to do this, but when we do, we do it a little bit better than this. Let's go get a couple things. Trip to the truck. All right, let's take these toys up there. I got my cutter in my pocket. Always keep one or two of those fittings around. Let's, uh, let's go up there and see how we do with this. All right. Oh man, I can see the junk in it. That is slap plugged up with something. And I don't know what. Looks like mud and rust. Appreciate it. Look at that. Look at that. Whatever that is. Thanks a lot, circus clowns. All right, so we're going to do something a little better here. I don't think it needs to be quite that long.
something like that. pretty good it back on here. And let her rip tater chip. Uh, clean up a little bit of a mess at least. I'm going to let that dirt just kind of Roll with it. Should be good to go. Should be good to go. <coughs> this tubing gets up here and gets hot and kinks on all these. I don't think that's the best way to do everything, but we're almost in the run what you brung category ourselves here today. Let's go back to the pump. All right, so I took this pump apart yesterday. Those That was completely clogged on both sides there. All of this garbage was a lot more plentiful than that. And I thought it was pumping when I left. It just goes to show you how, it just goes to show you how getting too confident, too quick, and uh, make a fool out of you. Clean that out and it's probably okay. So, came in here today and I put this pump in. I said, okay, let's plug it in and watch it run. Well, well, I plugged it in and it sat there and ran, but I could see that the water was not moving through the tube. So, uh, oh, let's, let's put it back. Okay. Down there pretty good. So anyway, I plugged it in and I was sitting here watching this water not move knew something was wrong so I just followed it down there like I should have done in the beginning got to be thorough always remember that got to be thorough oh yeah I just saw it shoot right through there 
And it's fixing to empty that pump pretty quick. Definitely pumping now. So, so anyway, we'll show the customer this in a little clip of that video where we got all the garbage out of there and how this was taped and foamed and glued or whatever it is. I think it's liquid nail. It's pretty tough, whatever that is. So it worked okay for a lot of years. Run what you brung, you know. I think that's what they say at the racetracks. They say, run what you brung. Pick up our toys and get out of here.